Hey folks, this is Bugsy. Uh, having a little bit of technical issues with certain things. Not on my computer, but other things. And it's getting on my nerves, but yeah. I just wanted to make I'm making two videos tonight, so you guys can basically understand that, you know, even though I'm not here, at least I got some videos planned for you. <clears throat> what can and what can I talk about? What can I What can I talk about? I actually know what I'm really going to talk about, but I just want to leave you guys just, I want to leave you guys for some, in some suspense. Actually, you know what, I still... I want to talk about one thing and one thing only. I'm t you know, <sighs> I was looking at just a robot video on the whole Batman. I mean, not the Batman versus Superman thing. That's a whole different thing. But the Goku versus Superman fan was need to stop because I remember back in the day when when that when the Goku versus Superman. Ha when the Goku vs. Superman fight happened, and he was like, Goku needs to win because Goku is like the best thing ever, and like, and then people were like, no, su su like, Goku is a ripoff of Superman and all that stupid shit. And then, it, you know, it just makes you realize, Superman wouldn't want to fight, wouldn't really want to fight Goku unless he really thought Goku was seriously dangerous. And Goku would only fight Superman just to test his own strength. Just to test his own strength. Not to actually just, you know, just for them to fucking kill each other. And I feel like these fanboys just freaking sit here and go, well, Bongzi, well, he's got all trans thing. I'm not talking about them fighting. I'm talking about how you guys are... I'm talking about how some of you fanboys are freaking stupid. Every time Goku or Superman gets a new power, you all want another death battle. You all need to fucking stop and just and just acknowledge that Screw Attack at least gave you a fight between Batman and God dang, why am I on Batman? A fight between Superman and Goku. God dang, y'all need to calm down. It's like and people are so mad at Screw Attack for the whole Superman Superman vs. Goku fight and like This is why, this is why folks, this is why that I really I really get angry about like the death metal fans because they act like irrational bunk they act like irrational bone holes. Try not to cuss, so I'm just using my old my old stuff. You guys act like irrational fucking fan fanboy bone holes and you just sit and you just freaking whine and cry, Oh well Goku should have won again because Goku because Superman can beat him, and you guys, they're probably going to do another death battle because of the Ultra Instinct thing, but I feel like if they make it, you should, they're just going to make it to appease you. And that, you don't want that. You just want Goku to win because Goku is Goku. And the DC fans are fucking... You know, the DC fanboys are disgusting because they fucking just say, oh, Goku, Goku's just a rip off Superman. What the f- Y'all don't, you know, it just proves to me like the, the Superman fanboys don't know shit about Superman. And they don't know shit about Goku. And it just irks me because I feel like, I feel like Goku and Superman will go on some sort of adventure. You know, I feel like they'd go fight some greater evil instead of fighting each other. 
That's what I think. You know, you guys are all like, no, Bugsy, they'll fight to the death only because you guys say so. It's stupid. And I remember when I was doing Go Go on Teen Fighter, and that was some stupid ass shit. He said, well, Bugsy, well, he's like, mark my words, there's going to be another death battle with Goku and Superman. I was like, you are the, uh, you know, back then I was like, you are the most dumbest motherfucker I, like, you're the most dumbest motherfucker that just hates on Square Attack for no reason. And, you know, Gohan Team Fighter back in the day, he was the, he is the embodiment of, like, the most entitled, the most entitled fan brat ever. You know, he's like, well, they're trying to handle up my anger. Well, you, well, you've been bitching at people who try to actually dispute you, and you go, Arr! you know, the dude never really gave me that a sorry. Still, and it really does irk me because, you know, now he's going by. Oh, everything I say now is hyperbole. I'm like, not back in the day. No, it wasn't. You actually believed that he actually believed that the Kai manga was changing the name. He he believed that Dragon Ball Z Kai was changing the names of the manga, changing the names of the text in the manga when they were their actual Japanese interpretations. He's like, I'm not gonna read Japanese. Well, you're you're basically you're basically. Even though you're watching a dub, it's basically a it's basically a Japanese cartoon. So you are gonna see some Japanese influences and stuff like that. Especially in the manga, because there is because most when most local most teams don't really take out most of the stuff from localization when they're doing manga. They keep most of that stuff in. And that's what pisses me off. Like yeah, you want to read Japanese and blah, 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 like, he's like the very example of, like, just this massive Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball fanboy who just can't seem to get that other people are fans of Goku, but they're not, but they're not pissing themselves in anger that Goku lost. Because when I really think about it, the last one made a lot more sense. Even though a lot of people keep saying, No, it didn't because the power is limitless. Who cares if Goku, if Superman's power isn't limitless? He still won. Accept it. You people need to accept it. God damn. It's going to probably be another death battle. I'm going to just sit there and be like, You guys are dumb. That's why I don't even take. That's why I don't even take death battle seriously. Y'all motherfuckers made it less fun. You know, and then I really started to see. I really started to understand that death battle is entertainment. And then back in the day when I was going go on team fight, he's like, death battle isn't entertainment. Well, why is it entertainment? And they got the freaking ads on them. Like, boy, they have to make money somehow. Like whenever I talk about when I'm. Whenever I talk about that I, take, that I took business classes or business communication classes, they're like, no, you didn't. I'm like, yes, I did. Fuck. And yeah, since, since ScoreTag didn't have any other revenue that they get other than t-shirts and various other things, ads were the way to go. That's why they always had sponsors at the, at the beginning of a death battle match. They had to keep the lights on. And just like I could talk I I could talk about a whole bunch of things about Gohan Team Fighter. Now Goku Super Warrior, whatever it is. But I'm not going to. I just feel like this thing is this fight, you know, this dream fight that a lot of my friends really, really wanted back in the day is now it's it's like it's like it's it's like they just it's just like Death Battle did what they did. Death Battle did what they did, but the fans had to make this into something it isn't. 
we should be seeing our favorite heroes fighting to the death. Not that uh, Superman can totally beat Goku, blah, 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 and so Goku can totally beat Superman because of this little this little factoid. I'm just like, ah, oh, shut the fuck up, you motherfuckers. You don't even know what you're talking about. You you grasping at every straw so you can think Goku and Superman could beat each other. You're grasping at everything you can. It's fucking annoying. And remember, I'm not talking about Superman and Goku going into a fight. I'm talking about you fans that really just irked the shit out of me. And when I looked at just a robot, it just brought that anger, that that anger that I felt because you all were acting like idiots. And the worst person, the worst person of all, was future Gohan SSJ. As uh, super future Gohan SSJ going like screw attack, screw this over, and now we're gonna show them how Goku would have really won the death belt. And he never, he never made a continuation of that at all because he even knew that was stupid. I'm just saying, I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan and a Superman fan, and I'm just like, I wasn't even mad when Goku lost. I wasn't. Because it is what it is. They got what they could out of the research that they got. And they, the only, you know, I feel like Cartoon Rewind did the whole battle with Superman and Goku just to appease you guys and be like, okay, okay, Goku wins because blah, 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 blah. And if you want to see and if you want to see Superman win, you, you know, we'll do it with a, with a strong, with a slightly more stronger version of Superman and slightly more weaker version of Goku. I'm like, again, I felt like the old, you know, some of the rematches were just to appease some of you fans that just didn't like that these characters lost. And it just got on my nerves. It still gets on my nerves to this very day. Because it's just so, it's so aggravating. Because whenever someone talks to me about Death Belt, I'm just sitting there going like, please don't talk to me about Goku and Superman. Please don't talk to me about Goku and Superman. Please don't talk to me about Goku and Superman. It's the thing I dread because it's so, fuck, because... The whole debate now is so fucking dumb because we got a whole bunch of people constantly going, Hey, Goku will win! Superman will win! Goku will win! Because Goku is Goku! Well, the Superman fans ain't really on my nerves that much because they're, you know, their side won. But the, Drag but the Dragon Ball Z fanboys got on my nerves with that shit. God damn. It made me feel ashamed to be a Dragon Ball fan. It made me ashamed. Me, of all people, it made me ashamed. Now that, that really does hurt me though. It really made me ashamed to be a Dragon Ball fan because of you, because of those people that just, oh, Superman will win, Goku will win, blah, blah, blah. He lost, guys. Accept it. Deal with it. I don't know. Fucking take it to bed with you. He lost. Y'all think you can do better? Actually, do research. And I looked at freaking when when Gohan Team Fighter was doing when Gohan Team Fighter was doing that. I was like, yeah, of course you're gonna talk about how Goku could win because you guys have raging boners for Goku. You don't want your senpai to lose. I'm just it. it it just fucking irks the shit out of me, man. The whole debate of Goku and Superman are, is, is so fucking dumb. And I just wish it would stop because you made something that we all wanted to see since we were kids and they made it into a reality, but everybody turned it into shit because they couldn't accept that Goku lost. 
that's what irks me. That's what irks me the most. None of you can accept when Goku loses. Some of you, some of you still fucking talk about it in riot. I've seen forums where you guys still talk about that shit and it still pisses you off like you're just seeing, like you're just seeing that fight for the first time. For, for those people, I'm saying let it go. It is not that important. Ah, <sighs> Jesus. You know what, guys? This is my video that's going to play for Thursday. So, enjoy. I'm sorry that this was a little bit ang more angrier than usual. But I do hate the fact that the Superman and the Superman and Goku debate is just so dumb. Of course, now that Goku has Ultra Instinct, they're gonna try and make another death battle. And since Go and watch, Goku's either gonna win or lose if that happens. And I'm just gonna sit there and go, "Death battle's over, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it over?" It's over, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it over? They, they, it's done now. Screw attack caved in to the stupid part of the stupid fanboys. It's over, isn't it? Why? Why did they do it? It's over, isn't it? Isn't it? Screw it, heck, caved in. It's over, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it over? These fanboys will never be at peace until Goku fucking wins. It's over, isn't it? Why can't any of them move on? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I just, it really does piss me off, though. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm hope. I'm, hope, I'm praying that we never get another Goku versus Superman. Because if we do, I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna look at the comments, and I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna be, and if I see any fucked up comments, I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna be stunned. I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna be like, really? Really? Oh, screw attack should kill themselves. Screw attacks are ha screw attack is hacked because you didn't like because Goku lost. Blah 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 blah. Just that that shit will always irk me forever. So see you guys later. I got another video I need to do real quick and. This one's gonna be scheduled. This one's gonna be scheduled for Thursday, and the other one will be scheduled for Friday. I was actually gonna bring like the you know, after tune show on on my Facebook page, but uh, that's not gonna be implemented until until next week. So I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.